Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 7 of this cabin. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in the roof and then the star front windows. Uh, here, we're going to continue working on this. What I want, uh, what I notice is this one is um, poking out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to level 2, select this, and then just move it a bit at the back like that. So that nothing is protruding the uh, window. So now everything is clear, as you can see. And then we're going to continue working. Uh, we're, let's add in uh, a door right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to level 1. And then let's go to insert load family and let's look for doors and then let's go to residential i would like to use this select the first and then the last by holding on shift press ok yes and then here we could go back to architecture and then doors which is dr and we could add in a door. I believe this is too big for the door for our entrance like this. So what I'm going to do is we could put the entrance right here. And then delete this. And we could just put a credenza on the side as well so let's go to insert load family go back to the main and then let's go to furniture storage and then we have a credenza right here you could just add a credenza on this spot and that will be perfect and we have this as well we have extra room for something like that so we could just move it on this side and I think our spacing is perfect for this we have enough space for our um, family room or something like that um, I'm planning to add in a window here using curtain wall so I'm just gonna add it right there and then go to modify and then click on cut geometry so that's perfect for that spot only and then let's go back here and it is right there. I'm going to pull this one at the top like that. And then we could just add in a mullion. We're just going to add the same mullion with that. Because the mullions that was used here is the 50 by 150, which is the same that I put, which is the default. 50 by 150 so that's perfect and then now we could add some floors and then support and maybe we could just um, put some decorative uh, piece here um, I'm planning to use I think it's better to use something like I think an extrusion so we could do an extrusion because at least we can manipulate that extend it or depending on what we want so generic model and then we could set this to level 2 that's okay extrusion 
we're just gonna go as a next rectangle so it's it's right about here I'm just gonna add some rectangles for now it will give me an error but we're gonna fix that so we're gonna trim this trim that trim this and then trim that and then delete the excess once you delete that we could just take around probably 200 or maybe 300 would be enough 300 as well here and then 300 here as well but we're actually incorrect because we need it to be from the inside because it's protruding so we need to push it back right there and then push it back right here as well from the wall after that change the material something metal let's use metal and then this will be around 200 click finish look at it first it will look like that and then click finish again now what we could do is we could align it so i'm gonna use align i'm gonna align it from this to here and then here we could align it as well so from here to here so it's easy to change and to align when you have an extrusion and as you can see it looks better we could just push this back a little bit similar to the other side so we could a l like that over right here and then we could set the correct um line right there now it looks perfect like that i'm happy with the look So we, we could basically change the materials right here as well. Okay. I'm just checking for irregularities from the design. So I'm checking every corners at least. And then we have this one not connecting with the roof so what we could do is we could go to level two and then just move this at the end let's try aligning it there we go and then let's align this as well and then now once we look at it it will look it will look much better um, we could maybe align this face to this face and see how it's much better. I want to make sure that nothing shifts from here. That's why I'm double checking. So as you, as you can see, it shift a little bit. I'm going to edit and then I'm just going to align it from this end right here. And then once we click finish, everything will be aligned accordingly. So those are the stuff that usually you need to check again. Join them all together. 
for some reason it looks like that but that, that will be okay it's not something that is visually um you can see so now everything looks nice uh, what we could do is we could do the surrounding area or we could add in a support right here so um, I'm planning to do is a square column um, we could go to insert load family go back to the main structural column and then we could do I'm planning to put in something wood would be good yes a timber is perfect and let's add all of them yes and then now let's go to level one it's around about here as you can see go to structure then column and then let's add in our timber let's look for a thicker one as you can see we have a lot we loaded a lot so i want to add A big one like this I'm gonna add it like that click it here and then here let's look at it we just need to select both of them and then base level one and then base level top level two without any of that As you can see it's showing right there so we could just select both of them again and then top level negative 200 so that it doesn't pierce through the concrete and it's just exactly where we want it to be so as you can see it's just about right move this one on the side okay so we have our timber um, softwood lumber structure material so that's perfect we could just change that later on and just double checking everything We could add some decorative pieces at the top as well if we want to. Um, what I'm planning to do is go to insert load family, go back to the main structural framing, let's go to wood and the timber. Let's add all of them. And then here we could add in something. So click on beam and then we could select our lines. So I think it's better if we do it on our north elevation click it again pick a plane I'm planning to use this plane and then use the line like that and then again line like that and then it will just add some characters inside so now if we go here, we'll be able to get that 
you can even go all the way down as well so it's something that will give you character so if we go to our second what we could do is we could do the transparency if we can so it doesn't let us but we could select them and then just move it and then we could create a copy multiple and then select another one I'm just uh, estimating the the spacing there and as you can see it looks nice so it will look like it is being framed with wood and we can change the construction right here and connection so that's fine we can also push it from the wall so it's up to you to push it from the wall or you could add in another one like that over here so different designs that you can do for this you can even add it on here so that everything is spaced out accordingly um, what you could do is go here we should show level three the roof so what you need to do is go to view plan view floor plan and then level three now it's showing and then here's some of our framing um, we could go to graphics and then transparency now you can see our um, beams structure beams and then you could just add it similar to what we did you can add it right here and then just move this one up to there so let's see how it looks yeah just push it back like that now it looks much better and then don't forget to so we have the structural material right here we could change this as well so you can change those materials later on soft lumber let's change that to a different one Let's apply that and then the other one as well apply this as well so everything is different so let's stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and I hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below